Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Assassin's Creed. Last episode, we uh, basically ran throughout the rest of the city that we can explore and picked up all of the treasures that happened to be in this place. All of them. Because I am a completionist and I do everything. As long as it's marked. Now it's time for us to continue on with the story itself, so let's do so, shall we? Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night, and then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It it you look familiar and evil <laughs> it reminds me of myself when i was your age i assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today no padre avete la mia parola i've prepared some documents here for lorenzo di medici to review i need them delivered to him with haste father return to me when it's done Okay, Paperboy, deliver Giovanni's letter to Lorenzo de' Medici. Sure, can do. From Giovanni Auditore 1. Al magnifico Lorenzo de' Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond dissatisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties, desirous of far greater gains, manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. Hmm. Interesting. Press pause to access the Animus desktop. From there, select database and then documents to read letters. Well, we don't need to. Okay, so that's how I do that. Noted. Watch out for Ezio's enemies, the Piazza. Which I shall do so. All right, gotta go around to here. That could be our man. Hey, better have that over there. Not you. There, there. Don't worry. Turns out these guys are easy to beat up. And I can loot them too. Not that I really need to, but eh. All right, we've made it here. Reporting in. Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Huh. Interesting. All right, return to Giovanni. Should be easy. Also, just because I can. I love how he's so roguish that you can actually just bump into people and rob them, so if you need some extra emergency money, you can get it. Let's see, where's the entrance again? Right over here. Oh hello. Keep up the good work. Be <laughs> You worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. 
Interesting. Ah, hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. As you say. Well, that's completed. And it seems we have three missions here, and also courier assignments unlocked. Well, it's a new thing we can do, and we have one right outside. I guess we can go do that. I'll speak with them in a bit. First, courier assignment. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Oh, sure. Casanova. Deliver these two letters to guarded recipi- Oh, no, I meant... I didn't mean to decline. I meant to accept. I meant to accept that. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Okay, accept this time. Oh, Raphael too. My beloved, how can I live without you? I cannot work. I simply idle away, imagining your face. The fact that your husband has locked you away behind cold walls sickens me. You are a budding older woman. You should have the privilege to feel my sweet kisses, like a gentle wind caressing your soft petals. Yet finally it is Friday, when he goes off to sea. Oh, happy day, and still happier night. Come when the sky rains with sparkling stars. Come find me and jump into my arms. At midnight I will be waiting at our special spot. Yours forever, Raphael. Oh? My dearest, how can I live without you? I cannot work. I simply idled away, dreaming of your face. The fact that your father has locked you away by... Oh, at dusk I will be waiting at our special spot. Okay, so this guy's playing two people. One up there, one down there. Let's head to the north first. We got four minutes. Should be relatively easy. I say... Okay, I think the entrance is over here... Haven't I seen his hair? We can get into the piazza. Today's final bonfire is still an hour away. Okay, that's that one dealt with. You're welcome. Now let's go deal with the other one. Pardon me. Thank you. Okay, now run to the south. Excuse me, pardon me, thank you. Okay, run this way. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Just need to get somewhere quickly. This one's very well guarded, jeez. Oh, this one's upstairs. I didn't mean to. Okay, there we go. Now, let's climb up here. Oi. There we go. There we go. Now we can go actually do the various <laughs> missions that we happen to have over here. 
I'm sorry, did he just say fresh sheep's urine? Ugh. Exactly where I wanted to go, but I'll take it. Oh boy, oh boy! Ow. Fine, let me buy the healing again. Thank you. Now then, we got a few things in here. Let's see. First one Maria Adiatore. I grow tired of these walls that surround me, and I'm bored with safety. Now is the time to make a decision. I will go out there and see what my life may truly be. Maria wrote these words when she was 16, a week before she met Giovanni Auditore. Born into the powerful banking family, the Mozzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the time period due to her multi-volume diary, which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on display in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. With funding from her parents, Maria opened up a bakery in the courtyard of her family palazzo, which she transformed into an artistic gathering place. It was there that she met a man with such conviction I found myself rooted to the spot, unable to look anywhere else. That man was Giovanni Auditore. Maria and Giovanni were married in 1450. Maria's diary entries continue for the next few decades, describing her patronage of several up-and-coming artists and her trials as a mother, at which point she abruptly abandons her writing to the disappointment of historians everywhere. Hmm. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway. I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Alright. Friend of the family. Help Maria with her errand. Yeah, we can do that. She has I a health bar. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Hmm. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Hmm. I'm guessing, uh... Here we are. Hello, Leonardo. Ah. Madonna Maria. The artist this is I my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. So where are the katanas? <laughs> He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Wow, um... <laughs> Back to your house, then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? Oof, so, uh, so brunt. Blunt, I mean. Oh. Leonardo da Vinci. The illegitimate son of a notary and a peasant woman, Leonardo da Vinci was raised in Tuscany. Like many destined to be superstars, he had no surname, Vinci being the town in which he was born. Really? At age 14, he was apprenticed to a Florentine painter, Verrocchio, who taught him chemistry, drafting, painting, sculpting, and modeling. 
When he was 20, Leonardo established his own workshop, and then traveled across Italy, eventually painting his great masterpieces The Last Supper in 1498 and the Mona Lisa in 1503 to 1507. During his travels, Leonardo studied the world with unquenchable curiosity, recording his observations in mirror writing within his notebooks. He created designs for a helicopter, tank, solar power, and a calculator, among others. He was also an engineer, designing garrisons, cannons, and movable barricades. Despite this epic list of accomplishments, Leonardo was hounded by his patrons for his chronic procrastination. Pieces frequently took years longer than he anticipated, and many were never finished at all. Leonardo also had a tumultuous love life. Accused of sodomy in 1476, he was most likely homosexual. Salai, his assistant, was accused of stealing and spending too much money on clothes, but was also probably Leonardo's lover. Leonardo painted several pieces of pictures of Salai, including his famous St. John the Baptist, and left the Mona Lisa to him when he died in 1519. What do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, aren't, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. He most likely will, yes. As we well know. I thought I was going to wait and follow them, but I guess I'm the, taking the lead here. And here are the paintings. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. Okay, simple enough. Friend of the family has been synced. Okay, good. And this is probably our sister, Claudia Auditore. The third child of Giovanni and Maria Auditore, and the first girl in the family, Claudia seems to have been, bit a, been a bit of a spoiled brat. Looks like her parents had to raise her dowry by 1,000 florins after she scared away all her potential suitors. A report from her school indicates she once attacked another girl for looking at her boyfriend and knocked her out cold. On the plus side, she's Ezio's sister, so you should be safe. <laughs> Probably. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Oh, Who told you scandalous. this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Oh, that right went here. quick. I'll go have a word with him. Okay. I mean, fair. Beat a cheat. Alright. Find and punish him. So, let's see. Where is he exactly? He is... Ooh, over... Over by there. Fair enough. Run down the alley. Run out this way. He better not be looking for trouble. All right, he should be right over here. <gasps> Duccio, it's a beautiful. Nothing oh. but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Virbante! <laughs> Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <gasps> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Well, this is gonna be mm. fun to beat. Hey! Nuri do Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! You insult my sister, parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? 
I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. I mean, you can try. You auditore is all toffee. But when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have thought she's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Hey, uh, how about, uh, knee? Right in the crotch. Stay away from my sister! Yeah, I'd say you deserve that. Prick. Beat up episodes are now available. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Where can I find the nearest one? Oh, there's one right outside. I mean, right outside our place. So that should be easy. Reveal useful information on your map by using viewpoints. Yeah, I already have. Alright. Uh, sure. Give me a minute. Let me, uh, let me take care of this. That faithless husband of mine is cheating. I know it, as do all the neighbors. Please teach him a lesson for me. Okay, wow. Sure. A woman scorned. Beat up the cheating husband. Sure, I can do that. Just gotta find my way around. Tailors. Oh, I don't think I've had that. Among Renaissance... I bet you can buy larger bags to carry your equipment from a tailor. Maybe they can even change your outfit, too. Among Renaissance merchants, tailors belonged to the new middle class and were paid well for clothing the rich in the latest fashions. Many were able to get close to their wealthy clients due to the intimacy of their job and create lasting ties. Alright, so over this way... Okay, so I need to locate him. He's probably in the center somewhere. Yeah, he's got to be in here. Yep, found him. Run! Don't look! Run! I've seen enough of your brutal patch. Yeah, there you go. You're beat up. Donato! She wins! I give up! That bitch! <laughs> I mean, wonderful wife of mine! <laughs> ah, let go home! Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna beat you up next. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Sucks to be you, dude. Okay, and it looks like I'm gonna have some more to beat up here. All right, and now we can head back to uh, our place. All right, looks like we have another quest over there. Oh, mission, whatever you want to call it. Point is, there's another thing to do over there. But I think we're gonna do it in the next episode. As this episode has gone on. Yeah, I'll let it be a little shorter. It's fine. Uh, let me just read this. Pertuccio Auditore. The youngest of the Auditore children, Pertuccio was described as having a weak constitution by Giovanni Auditore in a letter to Lorenzo de' Medici soon after the boy's birth. Apparently he didn't improve with time. Petruccio was pulled from school due to illness when he was 12 and according to records from the family doctor was confined to bed. No other data exists after that so it is probable that he eventually succumbed to his illness. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with the kid. Fair enough. And as I said, I think we'll be doing that in the next episode, because this one's gone on long enough. Still going to be streaming. 
just ending the YouTube episode. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, I am Chesok44, also known as Fly. That is Ezio. This has been a Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 2, and I shall see you all next time.